Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the difference between PVC trim and wood trim. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money, so be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and let's get started. So the very important difference between PVC trim and wood trim is the fact that PVC trim cannot rot. So with that being said, the best place to use PVC trim is going to be for exterior uses. There are some interior uses I'll go over in just a bit, but exterior is the biggest reason to use PVC trim. And I got a piece of PVC board right here. Some people call it PVC board, some people call it PVC trim. And uh, it looks just like wood, it's solid like wood, and it cuts really similar to wood. This has a nice wood grain on this side, and this brand offers a smooth side on the other side. So it depends on what brand you get. Uh, different brands offer different characteristics, so be sure you know what you want before purchasing your PVC board. All right, so should you buy a PVC board? Before we can answer that, we must first ask ourselves, how much are we willing to spend on our project? For me, I always use PVC trim, even if it was three times the cost, I would still use the PVC trim. Let me tell you why. This board costs twice as much as wood. That's right, twice as much. This board cost me $53. It's a 10 inch wide, three quarter inch thick, 12 foot long PVC board. And if you bought that in just standard pine, you're probably looking at around $25 around that area, give or take $5 depending on your region. But to me, that's worth every penny knowing after you install it, there's no maintenance required. And you can also get away with not painting it if you really didn't want to. So ask yourself how much you wanna spend are you gonna be putting up with this product for years and years? If so, go with PVC trim. If money is an issue, use the wood, but just be prepared for a lot of maintenance. This branded trim board that I use, it has a lifetime rot warranty. It looks and feels just like wood. Now with all PVC boards, they are paintable, peel resistant surfaces, which is a huge plus. We got moisture and dent resistant. Now with the dent resistance, I will say that if you hit this stuff hard enough, it will dent, but you gotta hit it really decently hard, but not super hard, especially on the smooth side. The grain side seems to be a little tougher and it's reversible like I already discussed. And if we talk about painting and gluing, let's move up to this other section. Another important note to PVC board and trim is you can glue it. So it says it recommends you gluing joints and I would too. In painting, it says you can paint this brand. This is Royal Trim Board from Lowe's. And it says to use 100% acrylic latex paint and do not use dark colors. So that's just something to note. Before I show you what it's like to work with this stuff, I wanna show you how flexible it is. This is way more flexible than regular wood, which that can be a pro and a con. The pro would be if you have a uh, certain surface you wanna go with the contour, this is great, this flexibility is awesome. But if you're wrapping something like a beam and there's a little bit of waviness to it, a solid piece of wood's nice because it kind of soothes over all the waviness. And then if you use one of these, it's gonna go with that contour, which you're gonna see the wave on the finished product. So just something to bear in mind. Let's go ahead and cut this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark and cut this so you see how similar it is to wood. So if you look, it marks just like wood. Same feel, same texture. And now we're gonna use just a regular circular saw you would use for framing to cut it. So let's see how well it cuts and what it's like. All right. One thing you'll notice is this stuff seems to cut way easier than wood. It doesn't have near the resistance. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's see how well this stuff drills and nails now. After you cut this stuff, it's gonna look like it's snowed on the ground, but this is snow that will never melt or rot. So that's just something to keep in mind. Here's the scrap piece that came off that board we just cut. We're gonna see how easy it is for a finish nailer to shoot into this. All right, as you can see, a finish nailer works well on this, no issues. Now let's see how well this stuff drills. Wow, very easy. So that drilled out a little easier than what it would have drilling through wood. So this stuff's a little softer. Now let's do the dent test. It said it's dent resistant, but we're gonna hit it. 
yeah, you can see a little dent there. So I wouldn't say it's dent resistant, but I would say it handles a dent pretty well. It's indented there, as you can see. And with the sharp end, I'm almost positive it's going to leave a good gash. Yeah, so definitely not dent resistant, but it, uh, it, as you can see, it's pretty easy to work with. PVC trim boards are not the only pieces of trim you can buy made out of PVC. You can buy brick mold, you can buy interior casing, shoe mold, you can buy baseboard. There's all kinds of different um, options when it comes to PVC trim. And whatever's made in wood, pretty much you can get in PVC. And some areas I'd recommend you use PVC is baseboard in your uh, bathrooms, baseboard in your laundry room, and baseboards in your kitchen if there's any exposed baseboard. And the reason why is when there's water on the floor, water in your bathroom, and uh, if you're cleaning, anything like that, it does not rot that baseboard. If you look at some houses that have wood trim as baseboard in those areas, you can tell there's a little bit of water damage. So that's just something to keep in mind. So another thing I'd recommend too, you can get doors with PVC jams. So I made a video installing a PVC jam door. I'll put a link in the description above, but that's important too, because if you're exposed to elements, that bottom of that door, unlike some other doors that I've installed in the past, they won't rot. So that's very important. And what I like to do, if I buy a door that doesn't have PVC brick mold, I'll pop off that brick mold that comes with and replace it with the PVC around it. And that way, at least if the jam starts to weather, you don't have that brick mold weathering just so easy. So typically that brick mold will rot out before the jam. So if you install a new door, I recommend installing the PVC brick mold. So that's my recommendation. If you were wondering the cheapest place to find the PVC boards, the cheapest place I found was Lowe's and they offer the Royal brand. It's the same one you see me make the video about just now. And that, like I said, seems to be the cheapest and the quality seems about the same as the Home Depot line. Home Depot carries what's called Veranda. Now Veranda and Royal seem to be very similar. I think Veranda might be a little not so aggressive grain as this brand, but you can check it out. Maybe it was just a different uh, experience I had with the different products. But you also can find it at stores like uh, the ABC Building Supply Company. They have it. Um, there's other manufacturers in each one of these stores. So, And that's in my region. Now what's at your region and what they offer is unknown to me. So you'll just have to look for yourself. But I can guarantee you, you can find any of this PVC board slash trim in any of the big box stores. You just got to go look and ask for a discount if you buy in bulk. That's what I do every time. Before I end this video, I want to say thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, turn on notifications so you get every notification every time I release a new video. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.